Hello friends, I'm Parwes and this is our second video in Python Open CV, Python Open Computer Vision. So in the previous video, we had a simple introduction to Open CV and also uh, we have created a simple example of reading an image in Open CV. So this is from the previous video. Now in this video, uh, I'm going to show you that how you can write uh, to an image, how you can write an image and also how you can change uh, the uh, for example the type of an image so for example this is a TIF image and I want to uh, make it uh, as a GPG image or PNG image and also uh, I want to show you that how you can uh, interact with uh, keyboard press buttons in OpenCV so now let's get started I have created a new Python file so now in here uh, first I need to import uh, CV2 and uh, now after importing this uh, I'm going to uh, read my image, so I'm going to call it img cv2.mread. So after this, you need to write your image name. So I have my image name is alina.tif. I want to write it uh, alina.tif. Okay. Uh, now after reading your image, uh, we need to show the image. So cv2.m show. Uh, I want to show uh, first you need to give a name so I want to give it a Lina image and uh, after this I'm going to write my image that I want to show okay now after this now now I want to uh, do some uh, keyboard interaction for example let me create a variable uh, k and cv2 dot with key and I want to make it zero so this is for waiting the key and now I want to create an if condition so if uh, if this is the case so if k is 27 first let me write after that I will tell you that, tell you that what uh, it means so I want to destroy uh, destroy all windows destroy all windows okay so if this is the case I'm going to de uh, destroy I, uh, all windows lf in this condition so if k is and uh, let me first write is in this case uh, I want to write the image cv2 dot write so I'm going to write the image uh, in here you need to give uh, your new picture name so uh, gpg new uh, image and uh, uh, so sorry and here you need to give a uh, gpg new uh, image dot gpg and also you need to give uh, your image variable in here and after that uh, destroy all windows so cv2 dot uh, destroy all windows okay now in here so uh, at the top we have a read image and uh, now in this section the important section uh, and here we are going to check so if a user press uh, 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 press escape key so this 27 is escape key so if a user press escape key we are going to exit the application or exit the window so in other case if the user press s key so we are going to save the image in our directory and we want to change the tif dot gpg okay and after that we are going to destroy our all windows so let me run this and uh, uh, I'm waiting for this okay now this is uh, our image if I press escape key now the application is exited we don't have any uh, at this gpg new image so now I'm going to run this again and uh, I want to press s key so now I have uh, press this key and now I want to check this that uh, uh, I have an image in here or not okay sorry CV2 has no attribute right in here I have a problem oh this is not right this is M right okay M right so now let me run it again so if I press S key now you can see I have a new image in here this is a GPG new image okay now you can see the this is uh, converted and if I see uh, open and ex show an explorer and if I check uh, so 
this so now you can see that this is a gpg format and uh, now uh, you can check the size so the size is uh, converted this is gpg and the size is 29 kb if i see the original image so if i see the size uh, it is 192 uh, kilobyte so like this you can interact with uh, uh, keyboard press and you can convert the uh, image uh, from TIF to GPG or PNG. So thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel.